Hey Deuterinos, what's going on? Hey, today I was digging in the couch, looking for a little beer money, and I came across this change. But by the time I hand counted this, it wouldn't even be worth a sixer the way they got inflation going these days. So we'll use my little coin sorter. Here it is. Now, on this channel, I love machines, especially cases of awesome engineering, and this thing's a perfect example. It counts up to 10,000 coins a minute, it counts them, sorts them, and bags them at the same time. It's a jet sort, it's made by Cummins Allison, and it's here to kick ass and sort coins, and it's all out of ass. Hey, we're gonna feed this thing 25 gallons worth of coins, we'll see how much money is in 25 gallons, and we'll see how long it takes me to shovel coins into this beast. After that, I'll open it up, and I'll show you how the mechanism works. But before we get started, why don't you drop a comment down below with your best guess on the dollar amount of 25 gallons worth of coins, the weight of one five gallon bucket worth of coins, and how many moving parts do you think the sorting mechanism has? All right, let's get started. All right, if you haven't guessed the weight of a five gallon bucket full to the top of coins, go ahead and do it now. All right, here we go. hundred and sixty eight point four pounds so if that was your number you win and what do you win a story to tell at the bar all right let's take a look at our setup here when we hit the start new batch button we'll go ahead and start our timer okay we've got our hopper with a bunch of coins in it let's go ahead and start our new batch and we'll start our timer at the same time Here's our first hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. We just hit our first thousand bucks in two minutes. You can see here, this is what happens when a bag gets full. It's flashing a red light and it says our quarters have 4,002. So all we gotta do is if we hit the clear button once, it'll say two. What that means is it went two coins over. It's supposed to be 4,000 in a bag. So we take two coins out, put them up here, out of the way. All we gotta do is pull up on a little collar, take the bag out, we'll seal it. We'll grab a new bag. And we'll pop it on there. Take our two quarters that were left over from the last bag and just add them to this one. Then we'll hit clear again. Now we can just hit continue.
dozen thousand dollars. It's a dozen thousand dollars, guys. Okay, it was $14,042.45. All right, you guys, so there you got it. That's $14,042.45 in just under an hour. If you guessed that right on the money, congratulations, you're now certified to be a CPA. Start practicing immediately. No, I'm just kidding, guys, don't do that. Now, if you got that right, good for you. You can go tell that story in any pub and get any chick in there. Like, they just love that stuff. Go tell them about it, see how it works. All right, let's take let's dive down into the batch a little bit. We'll hit um, unit. You can see that that was 82,655 coins. Let's go into the batch. Uh, we had $39.55 in pennies, $919.80 in nickels, $1,768.60 in dimes. $10,433 in quarters, $4.50 in 50 cent pieces, because who uses those? And $877 in dollar coins. And this is why my bank hates me. All right, let's take a look at how the mechanism works. We'll pull this top cover off. And we can see down inside it. Now you end up with this like inlet here, and you end up with a chute for each type of coin, six different chutes. And if you notice, each chute has this little blue thing here. And what that is, is it, it's sending light and receiving light across the gap of the edge of the coin slot here. So as each coin passes by, the edge of the coin will trip the light. So that's how it's counting the coins. Now, remember when we talked about how many moving parts there were in the mechanism? Let's take a look. There's a little latch right here. Open that up. You can see down in here, this is the only moving part, one moving part. So if you guessed one, congratulations. You could tell that story at a bar and get any girl. All right, uh, now this top part is where all the magic happens. Okay, let's take a better look at this uh, top plate. Now, if we hit continue, we can see our only moving part. So all that does is spin. It's uh, springy, it's like a pad. You have to change these ever so often. And uh, it was going this way. So up here, that would be this way. So let's go ahead. It's going to get pushed into this mechanism through centrifugal acceleration. Then we're going to follow along the path here, outside. It's going to try to push along the outside here. And so let's see. First one's going to try to get to is dimes. Is it going to fit? That's not really catching. We're following the shiny path here. Okay. And we see it slots right in, and this is the quarter slot. So what it does is it just starts at the smallest and works its way up until it slots in, and then centrifugal acceleration pushes it out into one of these chutes. Let's say there's a few dimes getting ready to be shot into the dime chute. Well, this light sensor, the reason why it's not gonna continuously pick up one, there doesn't need to be a gap between them because it senses on the edge and picks up the gap along this edge here. So as they slide through, they fit just so, and the light's looking at the edge for the gap in between them. So that's how it's counting them. This top plate's how it's sorting them. It's pretty simple, one moving part, reliable as hell. It's pretty damn accurate. All right, you guys, to show you how the um, internal mechanism works, I went and I checked my love seat and I came across this change. Let's go ahead and run some of this through without the uh, external cover and see how it looks.
All right, let's see how much that was. It was $88 and 20 cents. You can see why you want that uh, cover. Everything just goes flying out. All right, you guys, that was easy peasy. And uh, if you like this kind of content, looking at different machines, taking things apart and stuff, subscribe and like, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.